Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to calculate speeds and feeds for face milling operation and how to save the uh, tool and cut parameters into HSM Advisor database so that you can retrieve them when needed. First, begin by creating a toolpath. Uh, select a tool like this uh, 2 inch face mill. Uh, set the tool length offset and diameter offset even if needed and don't worry about feed rate and spindle speed yet. Uh, set your cut parameters like uh, reverse direction for last pass. Basically make sure they look exactly like you need them. For example, we have one eighth stock thickness here and coolant on. Okay, good enough. So we have our face milling operation. Uh, let's add the depth of cut as well. We'll have one finishing pass of uh, 50 tau or 5 tau and maximum rough depth of cut will calculate that. Okay, good enough. This is how it looks right now. Now we can calculate the uh, speeds and feeds for that. Select, make sure that the toolpath is selected and uh, open the HSM advisor. When you do that, it picks up the tool from, uh, H, uh, from Mastercam database. But what it picks up is often not correct because Mastercam is uh, lacking certain material types and coding types. Dial everything in as, uh, as in your real tool. Like flute length supposed to be only maybe quarter inch. And um, shank diameter two inches and stick out probably two inches correct and um, that's it our tool has been set up we can now add it to the database uh, type in your library name let's call it mastercam for uh, for all our mastercam tools and brand name Seco series name I don't know R390 and that's it good enough now we can uh, uh, calculate the, the depth of cut so we, are, we have 75% step over and our depth of cut would be 250.25 well regarding that that's the in the best case scenario depending on how well you hold your part you may want to decrease that I usually use this slider and just drag it all the way to the minimum oh I just noticed that the number of fluids is uh, wrong here this is what it grabbed from from mastercam and it's obviously wrong so let's adjust that edit tool geometry and type in whatever many inserts you have five is good enough and just yes that's it so that's our new feed rate for that and our new depth of cut okay Uh, it looks like good enough for D2 tool steel. And uh, that's it. Right now, everything looks pretty much alright. And we can save this cut into the database. Art cut. And call it face rough and finish. Okay. That's it. The new cut is uh, going to be over here and you can also see it's over here as well in this library. 
this one it's left over from before I have to delete it okay and we click OK L remember this RPM and feed rate okay that's it this RPM and feed rate is over here now and let's adjust our uh, plunge feed rate to something better because we know we are plunging into not the solid material but uh, into the air so it can be also this and you see face rough and finish the comment is taken from the cut parameters and okay that's it so now whenever we have to create another facing facing toolpath we can just do this face chain it quickly okay okay don't bother creating anything else go to here load toolpath parameters from HSM advisor cut database really click on that that's it it creates the exactly same toolpath that you have just saved and you can double check that speed and feed correct and the plunge feed well it what was saved before that's what it recalled and even linking parameters and uh, coolant didn't write okay and depth of cuts everything is the same well that's it we have just uh, calculated speeds and feeds we saved the tool and the cut into the database and we recalled it uh, to quickly create a new toolpath well in the next uh, lesson I'll show you how to create a pocketing routine how to save that uh, the tool and the cut parameters and how to recall them thank you bye